All right, well, we're out here in Texas. We've been killing these turkeys. Why do you kill them? To eat them. Warning, timber to table is strictly wild game. All meat is from the timber or water served directly to the table. No meat is store bought, no preservatives, no steroids, no nothing. Zero, zilch, nada, the big old goose egg. Wild and organic as it gets. If you can hunt it or catch it and you want to cook it, you've come to the right spot. Every animal was harvested legally for the purpose of eating. Enjoy. Bon appetit. So we're going to do them two different ways. So Jordan's going to do some baked turkey bites where I'll let to the gist of it is you wrap them in bacon, throw them in the oven, cover them in brown sugar, honey, all sorts of goodness. And uh, me and my health conscious mind is going to do fried. So we're going to cut them up into little nuggets. That's what we're going to do first. Ingredient number one, turkey. Ah. Get all our cubed turkey meat in here. We're going to take this heavenly buttermilk ranch. It's got to be buttermilk for this deal to work. So you'll just cover it if it'll leave there. Make sure you cover all of it. Get all in there. Got my sleeve. I'm gonna be smelling that tonight while we're home. Make sure it's nice and covered. Hey, go put that thing under my truck tire back over. This ain't my normal brand, so we're gonna check the heat on the pepper. But what we're really wanting to get out is the juice. And all you're really doing with a pickle juice is getting the vinegar out of it. Help break down the meat and make it even more tender. So, a real scientific measurement here. That'd probably be enough. And what that'll do is break down that turkey meat, get it nice and tender. You'll be amazed at how much these taste like a favorite fast food chain's chicken nuggets when you get done with it. The next time you see it, this will be going in some flour and going into grease. Mm, 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 mm. All right, what we're working with here, this is what I call gobble poppers, all right? Martin's got the fried, I've got the baked. We're gonna take these turkey chunks that I've already cut up, we're gonna wrap them in bacon, stick a toothpick in them. So I got my assistant here, he's gonna dump out the brown sugar. All things good, a little bit of chili powder. We're gonna coat the the wraps and brown sugar and Six. chili powder. Then we're gonna put it on a pan, stick it in the oven for 20 minutes at 350 degrees. I'm gonna check them at about 18 minutes. If they look right, I'm gonna coat them with honey. Oh, I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. Well, we're about to get ready to fry these turkeys. I told you last time that the next time you'd see them, they'd be ready to cook. So next step, that's what they look like after sitting in the refrigerator all night. Boy, don't that look good. You're gonna take them, and you're going to strain them. We're going to go from there, and we're going to put it in some seasoned flour. I don't measure anything. I just put salt, pepper, and cayenne in the flour until it gets the right look. Then it's going to go in the grease at 350, 375, and they'll be done like that. Let's see what happens here. Oh, my Lord. Look at that baby bubble. Ooh. This is why you turkey hunt, right here. Mm-hmm. Going in the oven. I got you, buddy. Leave that open. All right, we're going to check them. See what we got here. Woo, it's hot. If you could smell that through that camera, that's part right here. We're going to dump this honey all over it. Honey. Back in for about five minutes. You get in camp with us, you ain't going to starve. Where is it? Right there. Huh? No. How's that fried turkey? That's the oldest trick in the book. I need a taste tester. How is it? Mm. Is that good? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna hit it with the honey again. All right, there you go. Turkey, two ways to cook it. You got your fried and you got your baked. Dinner and dessert. Enjoy. Better. You come target hunting me any day. <laughs> any day. I'm happy to help. Happy to help.